I'm going to teach you how to make a fog texture just like this boy here. All right. So let's look at my list of steps here. The first one is add a plane. So we will now do that. Uh, shift A, mesh, plane. We have added a plane. All right. And the next step is to go to the shading tab. Make sure this is selected though, your, uh, your plane. And then we go to the shading tab and then we press new. All right. So from here, we press shift A again and add a color ramp. All right. Yeah, color ramp in the hood. Now we got to add a noise texture. Uh, when in doubt, use a noise texture. Now we're gonna con uh, shift A, add a uh, gradient texture. And we're gonna change the type here where it says linear. We're gonna change that to spherical. Ha ha. All right. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a mix node. All right. And we're going to connect this node here, this boy, to the color ramp. And then we're going to connect the noise texture to A and the gradient texture to B. And we will see the output right now. All right. So you're going to see that the gradient isn't working properly. And that's because we have to... Um, control T while gradient is selected. That is assuming you have the uh, node wrangler uh, plugged in. If you don't, just add a mapping and a texture coordinate and connect them together. Uh, and we're going to change it from generative to or generated to object. Let's see here. See how it turns out. All right. That's good. That's good. Now we can go to our color ramp here. Bring this in a bit. Yeah. You're going to want it to be round uh, so that when the texture spawns in into a game world, uh, if you're using, for an example, Unity or even UpBGE, you can create um, uh, 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 the word I'm looking for is particles right so you could use a particle system to spawn uh, a whole bunch of you know fog textures in and that's kind of what's as far as i know the standard practice of creating fog in your game uh anyway so now we will make sure our plane is selected and go to our materials on the right here and we're going to change blend mode to uh alpha blend i believe and then we are going to add a multiply, or not multiply, sorry, math, math node. And we're going to multiply, uh, go to multiply here instead of add, change those. And then we're going to plug our color into here and add shift a again uh we're gonna add a value node just in case you want to change it and we're gonna bring it up bring it up maybe to one right and uh then we're gonna plug this into the alpha channel And uh, boom. We now have uh, sort of like a transparent generative um, fog texture. And from here, you can change it up. You can make it, you know, just make sure it's not completely um, square or else whenever you kind of make the particle system, you could see that it's textures, you know, in game. So I would kind of make it round. That way it's less obvious that you are generating a 
texture, basically, you know? So, another thing we could do is we could bring down the spec specular. Um, and so now you're probably wondering, where do we go from here? Well, I'm gonna copy it by pressing Control C um, and adding a new scene here. And now I'm gonna press Control V to paste it and bring it here. Press Shift S to um, selected to cursor. Boom. Uh, now we can add uh, Shift A, a camera. Make sure you're facing downwards, a negative Z on the uh, uh, axis. Or you could just press 7 on the numpad if you have one um, to look down at it. Uh, so now we could add a camera, like I said. And we can change the resolution here in the output or uh, format uh, tab. And I'm going to change it to 1080 by 1080. Like it, it was already at 1080, but anyway. Um, and now I'm going to go to the bottom here while the camera is selected. And change the type to orthographic. Boom. Uh, I'm going to bring the orthographic scale down to 2. And boom. Now we can go in, see what it looks like. Oh, oops. You're going to realize that if you press uh, 1 to go to the side view on your um, uh, numpad, it's the camera's kind of like inside the texture, right? So we got to bring it up like that. Boom. Now we can go in. Now we see that, you know, it, it's pretty much done. But there's one more thing we have to do, and that is we have to make this the emission. We have to add um, the color into the emission here. And the reason for that is because if we change to our uh, X, like kind of like output, um, a rendered viewport here, you're going to see it's all dark. And the reason why is it because it considers lighting as well. So, here in our um, materials, we're going to just simply plug the color into of, of your color ramp into admission here. Emission, which is right here. Which is great. Now we got our... Um, yeah, we got our fog. And I'm going to change it a bit there. Uh, you could also play with the noise texture um, values here. I, like, you might want it more detailed, you know? So, I think a good... Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, maybe bring down the roughness, or... There we go. Gonna bring this down a bit. Okay. I'm actually going to make the fog bigger here. 15. Yeah, that's not bad, but I, I think the roughness could be maybe 0, 0.0. And detail, let's see here. That's good. No distortion. Distortion's cool, but it's not good for what we're trying to make. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Um... So just to explain things a little more, the gradient texture adds a gradient to um, your your texture. So if I were to go linear, it would simply go, I think, from left to right instead of, yeah, see right here? But if it's spher spherical and you have the mapping and texture coordinate uh, plugged into the object here, the vector, It'll go all around the object. It'll consider the the size of the object, basically. Um, yeah, from here we can... Maybe I'll bring up the whiteness a bit here. Yeah. This down. There we go. Now from here, to render it, we can just click Render. And a lot of people will go to Render Animation, but that will render 
everything on the timeline. So we're just going to render image. This is something that I actually, it took me a long time to realize. Um, image, save. You could just save an individual, uh, you know, frame if you want to. I had no idea. I thought you had to like set the timeline to like one. And uh, yeah. so that is, in a nutshell, how to make fog. Um, I have a little list here that I made because I, I wasn't confident in myself to remember how to make fog, but I did. Uh, but you could kind of use this for reference here. And uh, yeah. So you're probably wondering, okay, how can I use this in a game engine? And I can kind of give you a, a rough idea. We're going to copy this here. Um, we're going to make a new scene. And I'm going to paste it here. Um, oh, right. I don't know if I forgot or not, but um, you can plug this into a mission. Therefore, in the render view, you can see it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're going to add this here, and we're going to add an object. Any object will do. And I make it small. And we're going to add a particle effect to it. And we're going to go uh, to render, and we're going to make it render as an object. And then we're going to choose our uh, object, which I should probably name Fog. Fog. There we go. And uh, da, 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 da. right here, yeah, instance, fog, and you're going to see here, it doesn't look so good. <laughs> it's because you got to make it bigger. Oh, that's too much. And we're going to bring the number down to 500. And we're going to add some random randomness to it in the velocity section. There we go. So that's that's kind of like the general idea of how to add fog to your engine. Of course, you'll have to consider that the planes should kind of spawn in facing the game world camera. Um, doesn't look too bad, but we could also do some other things. Um, I won't go into them here. We could change the rotation. Uh, randomize. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It doesn't look so bad. Uh, change the physics type. I'm gonna make it... Yeah. Actually, maybe it'll... Yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> God. I'm not going to uh, go into how to sort of make the particle system, because if I'm being honest, I don't know yet. I'm still learning that myself. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, stay tuned for more content. Thank you. <laughs>